Hello, in this Excel tutorial for ChemLab 1B, we'll be looking at the first part of the data workup for Experiment 5, namely converting our percent transmittance values for our spectral data into absorbance and plotting that absorbance um, spectrum. I've gone ahead and I've typed in my <coughs> values for the percent transmittance as a function of the wavelength and the bottle, or the pH of the solution I'm testing. You'll notice I've typed in the number and the percentage symbol. This causes Excel to code it as a percentage, and so if I multiply by that percentage, for example, it will register in this cell as 0.21, and I don't need to do that conversion. You'll notice in some cells where I had, in this case, 20.0, it is displaying with only the, the 20, and it's lost and dropped that tailing zero. I can restore that using the increase or decrease decimal buttons and get each of these items to display with the proper number of significant figures. With that data, the next thing I want to do is add absorbance data for each of these um, samples. And I'm going to go ahead and add those in between cells. If you click on the the letter code at the top, it will highlight the entire column. Right click, insert, and do that for each of these. I'm spreading out the transmittance data, and I'm going to stick in absorbance. And I'm just going to label this as pH 1.84 again, or I can copy the label I put in previously. And the reason for this is that this cell is going to end up being the label on the graph. I'll go ahead and add a new heading above it to clarify what each column is. And you can format text just like other applications with aligning it in the center, so it's convenient. To calculate the absorbance, you'll remember that the absorbance is equal to the log, and there's a function in Excel called log, open parentheses, 1 over the transmittance. Okay, now in this case it decided to format it at percentage, which is not correct. I'm going to go to Format Cells. On the Number tab, I'm just going to give it General Formatting. I can click on that handle on the right and copy it down. In this case, I wanted a relative cell reference, so this is the absorbance values for each of those measurements. And with that range highlighted, Control-C or right-click copy, and I can paste it in each of these other cases. This is one of the big advantages of Excel, is this ability to copy and paste when you're dealing with large data sets. This isn't the easiest to see. I can use the increase-decrease decimal to change the number of digits it's displaying, make it a little easier to read. The rules for significant figures and logarithms are quite complicated, so I'm not going to go into that now. I'm just going to reduce the decimal so it displays a little easier. The next step is to set it up to plot all of that data. And for that, I'm going to highlight a row on top of headings. On the left are going to, is going to be my x-axis values and then all of the data. I'm going to go to the chart wizard. XY scatter, and I'm going to plot it as a line plot this time. I need to get rid of some series um, for the transmittance data, and if you notice over on the left here, that was the first at each pH, so I'm going to remove the series of column B, column D, column F. You can see what column it is over here by the letter. And now I'm left with my absorbance plot. I'm going to go ahead and enter titles for this. On the x-axis was wavelength in nanometers. And on the y-axis was absorbance. I'm going to call this experiment 5 for the title. I'm going to leave the axes. I don't want grid lines. I do want a legend this time, and you can change where that legend appears. I'm happy with it on the right. I'm going to insert it as an object in this sheet and move it below my data table so that I can print this entire thing out on one page. 
I can change the setup or appearance of this in a number of ways. I'm going to double click on the axis and it will open up the format axis. I want it to display fewer decimals on the number so that it's taking up less space. I'm happy with the x-axis and how it's displaying, but I want to change what range it displays. I'm going to go to the scale and I'm going to ask it to display 420 to 620. And that shows the range of data that I collected. Sometimes this gray background that's a default can be a problem for plotting. I'm going to right click on that, format plot area, and change area to none. And now I've come up with a plot that looks relatively neat. And if I go to File, Print Preview, now let me select off that chart, File, Print Preview, I can see that it's displaying my data and my plot on the same page, and I can go ahead and print it.